Hi, it's me again. I just did a vlog a minute ago and ended that one. And I'll post that uh, after I do this one. This one I wanted to talk about, I don't know, some of you, um, well, a lot of you, we all are subscribed to pretty much the same people. And I don't know if you've seen the one that Zoe did about me. Um, I riled her up. Um, but we're good now. We're good. I just wanted you guys to know we're good. So don't feel uncomfortable. No need for that because it's all good. Right, Zoe? She did make me contemplate on, or she did spark some thoughts in my mind that I've been thinking, but every time I get to vlogging, I forget to talk about it because um, I'm so in the heat of the moment. <laughs> but it was about food addiction. And during this two weeks of trying to stabilize, um, which I did, I think I did a pretty good job because um, the times I did gain weight were like deliberate, uh, you know, deliberately trying to be a rebel, you know, like if I didn't get drunk on New Year's Eve, for example, I wouldn't have been up three pounds the next day or what, you know, like that. But other, other than that, I've been, I've been stabilizing pretty good uh, oh, I didn't tell you guys I did a modified steak day yesterday that's right okay and I did tell you the stats okay so the stats that I put on the yesterday's vlog was 132.4 and today I was 131.2 yeah so 1.2 two pounds from the stats I put yesterday and I don't know if I, I told you that I had weighed twice yesterday so whatever you consider my stats yesterday I weighed um, I woke up once and it was 133.4 and then I went back to bed and then I woke up again and it was 132.4 something like that so either way it put me back down to one point one pound over LDW so that's cool now, the food addiction part. I wonder why we're addicted to... <clears throat> well, there's some people who are addicted to food just in general as, and they use it to help them feel better or whatever the reason is. But for me, it's more specific. It's like I'm only... I feel addicted to certain foods. Like some people say I'm addic you know, they're addicted to sugary snacks or whatever well that's me and starches so I've been really proud of myself because my boys love rice and you guys know that that's the devil for me and before the diet I was pretty much eating rice every day before I moved to the Bay Area, when I still li lived down near my parents and my family, down there, I was eating rice maybe twice a day for two meals a day. And that was not cool. I mean, maybe when I was younger, I was able to metabolize that because I was more active. Like, I was, in, I was an athlete, I was in sports, I was just up and about all the time. And now it's not so easy. I even remember when I was living in the city, San Francisco, I, you know, was able to sort of keep my weight down because I was literally running after buses every morning to get to work. And we do a lot, a lot of walking in San Francisco, you know, up and down hills, in and out of streets. And that's just how it is there it's just the culture and that's kind of, that kind of like kept my weight in check but as soon as I moved to the suburbs or out of the city I literally in maybe three months time started gaining weight I was like 10 pounds heavier three months later after moving out of the city and then it just blossomed after that and right before I got pregnant I was already getting pretty heavy my pre like my college weight was pretty low because I have a small frame my college weight was like 118 which you know there's no way 
I would want to get to 118. I think I look pretty good right now. So the food addiction part is kind of bothering me because <laughs> while I was on this P3, I was still craving these foods, like my, that Thai barbecue incident I was telling you about. I, when I go to LA, that's like a given. We must go to Thai barbecue at least twice while we're down there. And it's almost like it's been ingrained, like it's a habit. And still on P3, I still had it twice while I was down there, so it, I didn't even break that habit. It's only a matter of time where I even where I start eating the rice again. And I know that's you know being pessimistic, but I hope that doesn't happen. And I hope when it does happen, I'm fully stabilized and and I, I know my limits and I won't eat like the whole plate of rice and just make half of it or something. And that's what kind of what I'm what I'm striving for. And another thing is when we're finally on maintenance uh, P4, are we? Am I going to be able to go back to my lifestyle where we go out to dinner a lot? Because my husband and I have date nights, we try to, once a week, and we're diners to the point of being food snobs. <laughs> and we just like to go out to restaurants, no matter if it's fine dining or, you know, a food court. But basically, we like to try a lot of different things and... I just hope that by the time I'm there, that I will be able, I will be able to do that. And I promise to all of you guys who are wondering, and I know there's a lot of people out there who say, yeah, after people are done with P3, they kind of disappear. But I'm really gonna try hard to not do that. I mean, I might, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna vlog every day on P4, but you know, I'm gonna show up now and then to kind of give you guys a little update on how life maintenance is going. So far I haven't really found anyone vlogging and talking about the lifelong uh, maintenance. I wish there were more people, but I plan to be one of them. So, so stay tuned. Um, after I'm done with this um, round that I'm starting up again and hopefully it'll only be like two weeks more. And uh, since I don't really think I have too much more abnormal fat to go, I'm, I'm banking on the fact that it's going to attack right there in my thighs where, uh, where it's hard to lose. I think I, I went like all over the place on this vlog. Hopefully I can just cut stuff out. There is one thing that this diet has taught me. Um, not that I didn't know this already, but I think at least now I adhere to it more and that is that it teaches us that eating at home meaning home cooked meals is what our lifestyles should be like more so not only does that help in our lifetime maintenance but it also helps stay close to our families so you know having home cooked meals and having dinner together um, is pretty cool and it teaches our kids too, like hopefully, <laughs> when they get older, they should have family dinners more often. <laughs> also, I plan to, to teach my, my boys and my girl how to cook so they don't have to depend on, in, to, on anybody else and that they don't have to feel that they have to go out and eat every day. So I hope that works. And that's it for now. I will talk at you guys tomorrow. Peace out.